Amigos, this is Gabi from Team Death Note. I am here to bring your deck profile of Chilled. Um, first, I just want to give a shout out to Patrick over there, to Toy Vault, as well as um, Alex, Corey, Tom, and my dude Dave. <laughs> they was the one that helped me test out this deck last night. So yeah, I mean, let's get right to this, guys. So, the leader is going to be Chilled. He's a yellow leader. He's a 10k body. Um, when he attacks, he actually can create a token. Um, so you take out a token out to the field. It will be a 10k token. Um, he transforms at 6 life or less. Um, when he transforms, he has the permanent of when um, during do during your turn, he gets plus 5,000 power. And when he attacks, he also creates another token for 10,000. And you get to draw a card. So this is a very, very dangerous leader. And I'm going to show you why. Now, the deck is ran red-yellow or yellow-red. We are running four Kabas, of course. Now, the thing with Kabas is this. If you go second, um, you call Chill, which is your leader. You take out a red energy. So, you attack with Chill. You create a token. You attack with the token. Then you tap one, call out a um, Saiyan Kaba, and then you get to attack with the Saiyan Kaba. Um, so... Between last night's matches, um, I've actually got to do this quite a lot. If I can't pull this out because I went first, um, I actually deal four damages. Well, on your first turn of attacking, the deck is guaranteed to deal four damages most of the time. So, going for the second card is um, Ginyu Force Goldo. We are running four of him. Um, so, the deck, if it goes up to late game, you actually have a chance of winning but if your um if your opponent tries to rush you down you have these little goldos out there you know so they can stop all those crazy attacks of those double strikes because you know this deck is aggressive and as uh, um as aggressive decks are sometimes you don't have enough blockage going on then we go with mighty mask the mysterious warrior just three of him i found that four was a little bit too clocky he's a 10k um, so active main effect, you can call him out, um, you place him in the battle area, so you attack with him, he's a 10k body, um, after that, activate main effect, you can send him to your drop area, and you can choose one Goten and one Trunks U from your deck and add it to your hand, so he is very good. Then we have the 10k draw, four of it of course, we are running four of the Goten, four of the Trunks U. Now, this deck is very essential to the deck. I mean, this card is very essential to the deck. It's a 15k body, a size 3 red. Um, you don't really place them out to the battle area. Because this battle card has a skill that says you can discard this card from hand and another one. And you can search the deck for a gold tanks that's 25,000 power or less and add it to your hand. So, this is a gold tanks deck. Um, it has the gold tanks engine involved. So, this card is very essential. And let me show you why. Because we are running Go Tinks Engine. Three of him. Found that four was too cloggy. Sometimes I find myself actually charging this dude. Because let's face it, you don't really need to call two to three of him out there. So three is actually perfect since you can search him out with the trunks or the Go Ten. Um, his ability is this. He's a size 4, 15k. But you can play this on your second turn. Um, he only requires one red and one other color. So you discard a Trunks U for any Gotenks from your hand with the same power level. And it is a Union Fusion. So right after that, you tap one red and one other color. And you get called out there. And he's a double. And he's a dual attack. The other dual attack that we are running the deck will be three Mecha Freezer, the Returning Terror. Um, it's an aggressive deck, like I said. This card is good for when your opponent attacks like your Kabas and he has like um, these little Donorian cards out there. So you call him out. Um, once he hits the battle area, his skill can activate which you discard a card to the drop area. And you can choose up to two of your opponent's rested units and you can actually destroy those, those battle cards. So um, this is not the obligational you can actually skip that part if you don't have anybody to destroy but he will still gain the double strike until the end of turn so he's a dual attacker with double strike on play now to the sixth drop is actually the ultimate gohan this card he's very good early game and he's very good late game so he has the skill that 
if I have three cards or less in my hand, excluding this one, um, I can actually play him out for just two energies. It has to be two reds due to the due to the new rolling. So he's a 25k attacker, and the effect that he has is a permanent one, and he has double strike. So when this card KOs your opponent's battle card, inflict two damages to your opponent. So he is very scary. Down to a deck where they can bring you down to four life at the at your first turn, and then you call this guy out on your second because they attack your token or attack your Kaba, and then you can just slap his um, battle card with this one, and they'll be down to two. It's very, very important, and it's very dangerous, and that's why we run two Zarbons, because, you know, they're going to target him, so you combo with the Zarbons, and you restand him, and it's basically pretty much game over on the next turn. Now, for the other leader, we are running two Ghost Attack Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. I, in my opinion, I really think that you should only run this card at two. Maybe if you want to run them at three, you can, but like I said, the Gotenks, and the trunks actually searches them out from the deck and adds them to your hand. So he's not really that needed at three since you're only going to play one per the game. And that's just to finish because, first of all, he can evolve on top of the gold tanks. And then he has the permanent saying, um, if you have four or less cards in your hand, this card gives all your ghost tokens um, double strike. And then on top of that, when he gets played onto the battle area, he actually creates three ghost tokens of 15k attack. So, just imagine you playing this card, and you create three ghost tokens of 15k. You actually have four attacks of 20k double strike, 15k double strike, 15k double strike, and 15k double strike. So, he is very important. The other finisher we run at three will be Chill's Army General. He's a 25k body. He has the permanent that all your Chill's Army tokens can combo even when they're in rest mode. And um, they gain plus 5,000 to um um for the combo power then his activate main is you switch one of your chilled armies token and rest mode and he gains triple strike so this is this is a very op card i've actually finished off my opponents with um 65 000 power and 75 000 power triple strike they at three they are at three life and it's pretty much game over so yeah going to the extra cards we're running four volus assistants the not a fire She's good as well because she gets to withstand your um, that Gohan. She can withstand that Kaba. She can just withstand any of your battle, uh, um, any of your battle cards back up, and she negates the attack. Three battering lasers, especially if you're going up against a mirror match of yellow, when they can crush a ball you, where they can cold blood, they they cold blood, they cold blood lust you. You do battering laser to negate the negate, so you counter a counter card. That's what he does. The only thing he has to do is just discard one yellow card from hand. He's just worth one yellow. We are running three Crusher Balls, because let's face it, Crusher Ball is a very good card. Um, let's say if they call out a Jiren out there and they trying to hit your Gohan, you could just go with the Crusher Ball and just rest the Jiren, and then that Jiren becomes unactive. No type of harm towards you during that turn. And two Darkness Eye Beams. I had to throw this card in there, because... I saw myself a couple of times where my opponent will have a field, well, yeah, he will have the battle area with like two to three blockers and you don't want that. So you, so just for the cost of two yellow, you get to rest all of your opponent's battle cards in the battle area. So yeah, guys, um, this is my chill deck. I call it the best of both worlds. It's the two tokens. You go with the gold tanks tokens and the chill tokens and it's actually very aggressive, very good. And... This is Gabby from Team Death Note. Peace out.